I'm going to show you how I hung these double doors on this garden shed. Tip number one, don't do it in winter. Hanging doors is an ideal situation for using a story pole. Now for this shed build, I actually rutted the frames before I installed them on the shed. Then I found a strip of plywood about 80 inches long and used it as a story pole. I slid that up to the top of the frame and then carefully marked the position of each hinge onto the story pole. Then I brought the story pole back to the shop where I hinged the doors. So what I've done here is I've marked clearly my uh, hinge lines on this uh, story pole um, and continued the lines with a square uh, around the sides or right across the story pole. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark 3 16 on the edge of the story pole and the reason for that is uh, this is the top of the uh, frame on the on the shed, but I want a, probably a three sixteenths uh, reveal or gap between the top of the frame and the top of the door. So this has got to line up with the top of the door, and I'll show you when I route the hinges. So now I've placed the uh, story pole with this uh, 3 16 line uh, for the reveal at the edge of the door. Now I'm going to mark my hinges, hinge marks on the door, just like that. And I'm going to do it on all three hinges. And of course, I should also point out that I've ensured that that story pole and the top of the door are orientated uh, together. So I'm really sure that it's the top of the door I'm marking, not the bottom. So now that I've extended my marks with the uh, square, I'm going to install the uh, hinge template. Now this one here is uh, a template I made myself and uh, because I use the uh, this same template on the frame, I'm going to use it here on uh, on the door, so they're exactly you know the same. So I've clamped the uh, template to the door with a three foot uh, quick clamp, but if you don't have that, you can simply just use a drywall screw and screw the uh, template onto the door, and then fill the hole, very very small hole, after with uh, filler. So when you put the uh, template on the door, you'll notice that uh, the template is slightly larger than the marks made by the hinge. And the reason for that is because we use a template bit that actually has a roller bearing or a bearing that's, uh, you know, about a sixteenth proud uh, of the bit itself. So therefore, the, the template is slightly larger than the hinge. To set the depth of the rudder bit, I'm simply going to lay the hinge on top of the template and then I'm going to bring the rudder up from underneath. I'm just going to set the blade or the uh, rudder bit so it's just maybe a 64th or what have you, half a millimeter uh, shy of the top of the hinge. I don't know if you can see that or not. but. It's better to make it shallow than de and too deep.
also want to show you a couple different uh, hinge template to jigs. This one's made by the Templico Tool Company in California, really, and it's a, a, a kit that you buy. Uh, a little more uh, affordable would be this uh, template from Porter Cable, and it does uh, various sizes of hinges and various ra uh, radiuses of hinges, and it works fine. No, you'll notice I'm only putting one screw in each hinge in the middle hole, and there's a reason for that. I'll show you when I hang the door. Now, there's a reason the hinges come in a cardboard box. You can use that cardboard to shim the hinge if the door doesn't fit right, or if your dado is a little too deep. I've also only put one screw in the portion of the hinge on the frame. That way we can tap the hinge up or down if we have a little trouble making the door fit. Once the door is hung and you've driven the pins all the way, you put all the remaining screws into the hinges. I pre-drill all the holes with a self-centering drill bit before I put the screws in. There we are. You know, one more. Just up here. Woo! Because it was so cold out, I brought the door back to the shop to drill the hole for the doorknob and the deadbolt. I've got my Templico bore master installed on the door. And I'm going to hook up the drill and drill the holes and see how it goes. Always make sure your router bed is not turning when you're going in or out of the template. You don't want to mark the template and ruin it. If you make a gouge in the template, then every time you use that template again, it'll follow that contour.
right so the doors are finished what I've done on the inside put a strip of uh, primed uh, maple so that the door has something to close against and I didn't get any uh, footage of that just because it was too darn cold out Thanks for watching. If you have any questions on this video, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll be sure to answer them. And don't forget to like and subscribe.